Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. So I think we'll have a quick talk about lights and LED lights. Okay, so here's my lighting setup. Now I've had my fair share of crappy lights and I've bought my fair share of crappy lights off eBay. So these lights here, I'm just gonna show you here. I've got three of them in a row. I've got a fourth one over that side. I've got another one down there, another one up the top here three down the back here. Now these are not cheap, these are Nava and uh, each one's about 80 bucks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and then we've got these ones um, as well. So they're they're probably a little bit cheaper, they're probably about 60 bucks a piece. So as you can see there's like 500 bucks worth of LED lights in here, brand name LED lights. And the reason I've got these is because they give off really good light and I've bought crap lights in the past. So I've actually bought some cheap ones for a new van that we're building and I wanted to see what the difference is. Now just to give you a reference, let's turn some of these off. So we'll leave that one on. That's one. See how much one does? One is actually enough. One would be sufficient, not great, but you could, you could do it on one. Okay, let's look what three looks like. Three looks like this. Even better, lights up the whole bench. Okay, and then uh, if we go all of them on, it basically is quite bright and gives you a bit of a headache. So more than enough lighting. And most of the time I, I, I pretty much just run like one. I leave that one on like that. Still enough for me to key up, but the light's not directly in my face. So that's the lights. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, we're gonna have a look at these and then we're gonna have a look at some cheap ones and see how they compare. All right, so these are the cheaper ones. These are two for like $35 from eBay. And one of the things that really got me was you can tell on the brand name ones how much lux or how much light or how many LEDs they give off, but they don't really give you a clear indication of how much light you're gonna really expect off a product, especially on these cheap ones. On the more expensive ones they do. So we'll go through and we'll just um, unbox it here. So you get these two brackets. These two brackets simply just clip on the back here. You've got this self-adhesive strip here, double two-sided tape, so you can just tape it up. They actually did show a little place to screw it in, but I've got nowhere to kind of screw it in. They're reasonably chunky compared to the other slimline ones we were just looking at. These come in about 35 mil by about 35 mil that way. And of course they are, it's 25, about 350 mil long. So, I mean, they're not the prettiest. They've got the little light switch on the side there. So let's go ahead now and boot them up. So to install these, you simply put your bracket on, put a screw in there. They don't come with screws by the look of it. And then you simply clip it over the top. But my question is, just like so. My question is, will they do the job? How efficient are they gonna be compared to what we just saw? If we put six, six of these in a row, is it gonna light up the bench enough for us to do some rekeying? Or do we have to go for the brand name ones? So let's just find out. So I've got my 12 volt or my variable power speed transformer here. I'm just going to uh, back this off so I can put power on it. Okay, black to black, red to positive. Make sure these two aren't touching. All right, so we're going to go go black and dark. There we go. So it's going to get dark in here now, turning on my power supply, so I've got 12 volt, uh, no we don't, uh, there we go, we've got 12 volt, plenty of amps, once, the, once it goes dark we're going to power this on and we're going to get a bit, bit of an idea. Okay, getting a bit darker. Okay, that's about as dark as we can, uh, we can do it now. We are in complete darkness. Ready? Let's go. Whoa. Okay, so I'm pretty impressed with one. Let me shine it at the roof. That's the roof. Okay. Now, let me hold it above the workbench and see what it looks like from there. Now, I've got that the same height as the camera. If I was working under this now, I'd be quite happy with that to see um, into a cylinder and stuff. I think one, one would be sufficient. So if I was to use two, three, or four of these, I think it would be okay. As you can see, the light's a bit bit scattered, a bit scattered, it would be better if it had a filter over the lens, but in all fairness, I think that is fairly bright. I'm holding it up just next to the camera, holding it up about 100 mil above the camera. I'm getting a lot of shadow, but that's only because we're only getting one light, but I'm fairly happy with that for the price. Let's look at a safe lock. 
kind of blinding because uh, we're reflecting, but if we put it on an angle there, that would be clear. Okay, so I just want to do a side-by-side -side comparison. Now this is the Nava, uh, slim line, it's about 400 long. This is the light it puts out now. And as you can see, the workbench is quite well illuminated. That's one of them. Now let's try the comparison. Now this isn't as high, but it's pretty much close. So this is the comparison. Okay, lighting test we're going to do. We're using the Nava at the moment. Okay. So, in conclusion, uh, this light right here, I don't know the lifespan of it, but this light right here, for what it is and for the price, I think we're paying about $15 a piece or $15 to $18 a piece. I'm, I'm finding it very good value. If you can live with the chunkiness of it and you can mount it somewhere where it's not directly in your eyes um, or even put a slight bit of uh, filter over the front so it's not um, it's not coming straight at you, then I, I think it's a good deal. The other ones we paid, look, we paid about 80 bucks a piece for the other ones and as you see $500 worth of lights adds up very quickly and for these other ones here I bought six of these and I think I paid about 60 bucks I mean you know they're doable it's completely doable it's a good light for what it is and as far as brightness I think I would be um, saying I think it would be fair to say I probably get the same amount of light off this one as I do the $80 ones the brand name ones as far as lifespan it's still up for grabs who knows how long it's going to last for the other ones are done me very well and they come in two different colors as well warm white and um, cool white so this is cool white because it's more white and warm white is always that more of a uh, yellowy type color so these are off ebay i'll leave the link down in the description if you think about a few more lights in your car because you definitely do need a lot of light especially at night time especially working with small parts then i would say that these would definitely be on the consideration table okay thanks for watching